Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about submucosal resection of fibroids. As you can see, the different FIGO type of classification, and today's case is a FIGO type 2 fibroid, which means less than 50% of projection into the cavity. Now, I've gone ahead and used a mechanical morselator, uh, and I do find it to be quite useful in terms of resection of fibroid because it actually takes away the tissue as well, so there's no um, tissue that is blocking up the visual field. I often, when I teach my registrars, compare this to a game of Pac-Man. Now, those of you who have actually played the game can remember that there was this yellow round thing with a really wide mouth and this mechanical morselator reminds me of the same. The linear black um, marking corresponds to the opposite side of the mouth or the place where it actually morselates and hence you should be visualizing the black mark which then ensures that the morselator part of the hysteroscope is facing the fibroid as you can see the fibroid has a different texture you can get some tactile feedback with the mechanical morselator it's a bit hard not that soft a bit of gritty sensation and there are available visual cues as well you can see it's a bit whiter than the surrounding pink mucosa and that then reassures me that I'm actually going ahead and morselating the fibroid. Usually in type 2 fibroids, it's a bit difficult to get the entire fibroid. And what we do is level it out to the surface of the endometrium. We are doing this for a case of abnormal uterine bleeding in a woman who is perimenopausal. With the mechanical morselator, I am comfortable to actually go into the muscle of the uterus where the fibroid is located and then further resect the fibroid as much as possible. In this setup we can actually reduce the pressure. I'm at around I think 90 to 100 millimeters of mercury so I've reduced the pressure now just to see if the fibroid will pop back into the cavity. But you can see when you reduce the pressure, the clarity or the visualization of the fibroid is a bit reduced. Again, you increase the pressure so that you can see a bit better. I always believe that you should never do a procedure blindly. Even if it's a simple polypectomy, I would remove it under vision, either with scissors or a hysteroscopic um, morselator but always try to avoid blind procedures i think we've reached past that stage where we used to do blind procedures hysteroscopically always try to do it under vision is my mantra now you can see there's just a little bit more of the fibroid left um, and and most of it is almost resected it was a two into one centimeter fibroid and you can see that um, you know we've actually gone into the muscle and we are resecting most of the fibroid out you can see the white of the fibroid when compared to the adjacent pink of the muscle so that should give you um, visual cues as well we went ahead and ablated the endometrial cavity for this woman and we put a myrena in as well thus hoping to stop all problems of abnormal uterine bleeding we'll be back with more videos stay tuned for more